All right, this is your friendly neighborhood surveyor. Uh, the guy on our crew is learning and had questions about bearings. So let's pretend like this is a piece of property. We're gonna call this point one, point two, point three, point four. And what I try to tell them is, so like on our, on our data collector, you know, if, if we wanted to inverse between point one and point two, you know, we'd put um, point one going to point two and it'll give us a, a bearing and a, and a distance because it's inversing the coordinate, the coordinate values of each of those points. But what I was trying to show him is why or how we use bearings in, in calculations and like as, as opposed to a to an azimuth. So you have to break an azimuth down to a bearing to use it as a, as a calculation. And so what I had him do is like for every point, like maybe on a piece of grid paper, kind of do a north, south, east, west. So that point, you know, here's our north, south, east, and west. Point two, north, south, east, west, because you know, north is not going to change. East and west is not going to change. So this kind of shows you then the bearing that it'd be going right there, as long as north is at the top. And so if you're going from one to two, obviously it's a northeast bearing because it's between our north and our east, northeast bearing. And if you're going from two to one, it'd just be flipped. It would be a southwest bearing going down. And what the bearings do is they give you direction, give you direction to, um, to calc out like if you're traversing. And this is what the data collector does for you. So um, what I was trying to show him is when I went, when I went to school, um, you know, we learned that it's the sine of the bearing times the distance, that's why I forgot to put on there, times the distance, times the distance equals the difference in the northing, and then the cosine of the bearing times the distance equals the difference in the easting. So like if we had like a five by five, here's a right triangle, five feet, five feet, so 45 degrees on the other angles, and let's say your coordinate, you assume coordinates is zero, northing and easting. Here's your distance, from this point to this point, and let's say we want to calc out what this coordinate would be, assuming zeros. So your bearing would be 45, be it northeast 45. You know that's our little northeast, north, southeast, and west. Um, so it'd be 45 sine times 7.07, because uh, five by five is the hypotenuse is 707. This way it just makes it easy to check the math, and the answer is five, so that's the difference, is five. Same thing, 45, get the cosine, times the distance, equals five again. Now, why we add five and five is because it is a northeast bearing. Let me get another pen here. So it's a northeast bearing, which means dun, 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 right there. If it's going north, or if you have a, a northeast bearing, your northing is going to be a plus, your easting is going to be a plus because you're moving north and moving east on that northeast bearing. If it's a southeast bearing, your northing is going to be a minus, and but your easting is going to be a plus because obviously you're taking away from the northing. You're going down, but you're still heading east. On a south um, southwest bearing, both are negatives. And on a northwest bearing, north is a plus. North is always a plus, and the easting is going to be a minus. So that's the way it looks like when you, if, if you were to do it, do it by hand. Or some data collectors have you put in the um, bearing as a positive or negative and the distance as a positive or negative. So this is how you would do it. If um, 
again, so if it's, uh, if it's northeast, it's positive. Northwest, positive on the northing but negative on the easting. And same thing there. So if we were going from here, let's say it's 10.0 and 10.0. Now we're going still 45, get the sine of the angle or the bearing times 707. Your answer is still going to be 5, but because we're going now southwest, this would be 5. Same thing. Get the cosine of the bearing or cosine of the bearing times the distance. We already know that's a 5. So we're going to subtract, 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 and 5. So that's bearings. And that's why you see them on like property lines, on um, center line streets, on maps, and everything because it allows you to calc out coordinates, it gives you direction, and a lot of um, a lot of the math behind it can't be done without without having the bearing. You can you can assume a bearing. So like on a I don't know if this was going to be a boundary, and let's just say you're just starting with zeros. You know you can say zero zero, and it's a north zero 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 east bearing. So that's just true north. And then as you set up here. Back sight, turn your angle. You can then add that angles, um, create a bearing here. If it's you know, as long as it's under 90, create a bearing there and get a distance. And now you have a bearing times the distance, and you can get another coordinate value here, and so on and so forth. But uh, that's that's just a very simple um, definition of. Uh, how we use bearings. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and we can get a little more detail. I'm trying to figure out a way, like where's our starting point? Where's our starting point for you guys? If you guys want to understand like how boundaries are done, when we're using the data collector and inversing, what's that information that's given us? How can we use that information? Um, how we know if it's right or wrong, if we fat fingered something. And um, yeah, so just let me know and um, we'll work on it together. Survey out.